Say you're a teacher and you're making a quick seating chart here in Gliffy. Here I've got my classroom's tables and then I've got a circle dropped in for each of the students. Right now I'm noticing that these shapes aren't super well lined up, so let's focus on fixing those tables first. I'm going to toggle off the visibility of my students layer to make that easier. Alright, now focusing on the tables. There are a few ways that I can clean these up. First, I'm going to select the top row of tables by dragging a box around them, and that opens this little menu option. Here I'll click this square icon, and it opens the options for editing all of these shapes together. It's called Edit Group Properties. In here we have both the Align and Distribute functions that can help us out. Now, I want the second table to be spaced evenly between the first and the third table. So I'm going to click this Distribute Horizontal Centers button. As you can see, that nudged table two over just a few pixels there. Now, I also want to make sure that all three shapes are vertically lined up too. So I'll use this Align Centers button to align the middle of these shapes. These look great, but I want to fix the second row. I can follow that same set of steps, or I can turn on the Drawing Guides button in the toolbar. This makes it so that as you drag shapes, it gives you these faint green lines that can show you when you've aligned to something else on the canvas. So using these lines, I can make sure that each of my shapes is aligned to the one above it and the one immediately next to it. I like to use drawing guides when you know that you've got something organized like this top row that you can lock everything else onto. Awesome, now I'm gonna lock this layer and we can work on the students. This is a little more complicated because there are so many shapes to work with, but the tools work all the same. I'm gonna drag students roughly to where I want them to sit in the classroom and then I'll show you how we can clean it up. All right, so as I was dragging and dropping these students, you could see the drawing guides trying to help me out. So we could either use those drawing guides to tweak each table and then get the students centered around each table, or we can select them in rows or columns and use those same align shape to make sure that they are totally lined up. Remember to use drawing guides as you drag and drop shapes to get them perfectly placed from the get-go, or use the align and distribute tools by selecting shapes you want to reorganize. Your diagrams will look super neat, both in the tidy way and in the cool way.